Hello and welcome back everyone to this WCA qualifiers. Uh, this is game three of this best of three, I'm pretty sure, between life and focus. Uh, a, a slightly favored game one for life and a pretty close game for uh, the second game. Hopefully game three is, you know, just builds up that excitement. Game two I think was pretty exciting. Uh, obviously I can't show it very well. Um, I think the mentality basically is because this is just a replay. Um, it's very hard to kind of get hyped up by something that's happened in the past. I think I could be a little different if I, if I watched it live, but like I just don't have that capability. So yeah, one day, hopefully one day. So I guess we'll just switch to APM. Oh, both players are not doing anything. Okay, there we go. Jump to that good old 600 and 500 APM. Yeah, I don't think this is actually um, not actually accurate. So we'll just switch over to resources like we usually do. Life spawning in as the red knight of play in the bottom right, facing off against Focus, the blue orc player in the top left. Um, so yeah, I might have. I mean, game two was pretty exciting. I think I kind of, uh, what was it? How would I describe it? I think I kind of dropped the ball a little bit when it, when it came to casting, but uh, I'm just so busy. It's just hard to like flip the switch all the time. So yeah, hopefully it, this one will be a little better. It is on Turner Rock, so this might be a, uh, might be a bit of a long game. Of course, last game was reasonably length. I guess 20 minutes is probably a good mid-sized game. Uh, hopefully it gets there. I mean, I've noticed a lot of people don't exactly like watching short games because I actually don't know what the reason is. I think it's just not exciting enough and usually most people don't like watching cheese because it's just... I actually have no idea what the reason would be. Um, but yep, a player's tier two for both players, attack. most likely focus starting out, and life should follow suit after a couple of wisps, I guess. He is stocking up on resources, so yeah, pretty much. Blade Master once again at this Urban Magi camp. This is a very similar to game two, where the Demon Hunter and Blade Master just danced around at the at a creep camp and. This one's probably a lot more important because it drops the watch reward. Um, it would be devastating for Focus if he lost it to his opponent, but like, like, reversely, it's going to be so beneficial for Focus uh, for for life if he gets it himself. Because, oh, uh, he, wow, he actually got it. Life actually got it. Um, he didn't get the kill on the Magi, but he got probably the better long term. Uh, long-term resource that he could get. The Playmaster might be a little stuck here. Oh, okay, uh, Ogre just somehow wanted to sleep. So, that's strange. I'm pretty sure the Ogre should not have lost aggro there, but that's what happens, and he is just going to... Oh, maybe not. The Demon Hunter looking for... Trying to look for a kill here. I mean, Dust Appearance is going to be used by uh, by Focus, but probably not a good idea to stick around, and that is going to be a dead Blade Master. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Okay. Forces are under attack. Yeah, big no-no from Focus there. It should not be should not be playing in front of Death because you're just gonna you're just gonna get killed. Damn, he burned a he burned a dust charge as well. That's not good. I mean, the archer, if the archer didn't want to be caught, she would have immediately sh uh, melded. I mean, yeah, sure, she got dusted, so she's just trying to try and fight back. But you gotta you gotta be a little oh, careful a about a nearby or demon or come on. So that's that's gonna put focus back a little bit. Um, he is, the blade master is back right now. Clarityed up. But not looking good for Focus right now. He lost the Watch Award, which is in a not great position. But of course, this was just because the the fight earlier on. You can't. You don't have the luxury of positioning the Magi yourself. 
Um, but still, yeah, the watch award will be pretty good because uh, this is a, a town is under siege. A it's not exactly a mirrored match, um, but it's a it's kind of a cross map here because I mean, if Focus ever wants to fight his opponent, he will have to go the long way, as in here, unless he wants to be spotted by the ward. As you can see, the vision, uh, the the light of the of the fog of war has been. Uh, unveiled and yeah that's pretty much where life can actually see. Bestiary is being harassed by life as well. Not looking good for focus but he might get something out of it. Maybe a potential um, TV scroll being burnt here. Bestiary will be cancelled uh, but the heroes are kind of locked in. Uh, the Sparrow Lodge would be a, actually a bad loss for him. Uh, you don't want to lose both of your uh, tier 2 production buildings. TP scroll is going to be burnt. Thankfully, the TP scroll is on the lower hit point hero there, so yeah, no risk of getting your other hero immediately focused down. That is not a good sign for focus. He lost a lot of precious time, and you can see the the gold that he's been stacking up. That was most likely for the new units that he was going to start producing. Not anymore. Demon Hunter once again being a pest. Life playing very well this game actually. He is uh, trying to dictate the pace of the game and he is doing pretty well and until that happened um, he, the Demon Hunter gets surrounded. Oh no he actually gets preserved back home so thankfully for life he did buy a preservation staff this time around. Uh, I don't think we ever saw it in game 2. Not that it really would have mattered too much but actually it would have mattered because you would have saved his demon hunter from actually getting killed and yeah he wouldn't have lost so much control on the map if that were attack. if that wasn't going to happen so yeah thankfully he did kind of save it there with that preservation but probably should be a little careful again because he is back he is going after a couple of burrows here with a couple of uh, quill beasts He's not going to get too much down. All he can do is uh, pretty much cancel the one that was currently being built. Beastiary has been completed. Incinero is underway. And both players have a lot of resources in the bank. Focus is kind of lacking in lumber, however, because most of his orc uh, peons were a little busy in the, inside their little burrows there. But... Yeah, even, even life is kind of stocking up on those resources. Blade Master is going to make a return, and that looked like a fairy fire. Uh, not fairy fire, a uh, mana flare from the fairy dragon. I don't think it was, but the demon only gets preserved back home. And pretty much rinse and repeat, I think. Uh oh. Uh, Ancient of War suicides itself against those turtles there. I don't know if it was intentional to just get that demon hunter an easy uh, level 5 creep monster but yeah you just lost your ancient of war that could have been helpful when defending the base a player's forces are under attack. okay army supply is 36 to 40 focus is slightly in the lead um, and actually this is looking good for focus because we have a third hero already for um, for for life I mean, heroes are 5 cost in terms of food, but like, level 1 heroes barely make that much of an impact. Of course, Tinker might be a little different because he does toss the factory down and like, there's his impact, but yeah, um, that could have been like 2.5 uh, more druids, but I mean, it's, it's pretty standard for a Tinker a third hero anyway. This is pretty much the most popular uh, try hero for the Night Elves against an Orc matchup. And the Tinker is going to get focused down by the Blame Master. He is not aware of the Blame Master on his, on his hide right now, but it's not like it doesn't it matters if he knows because he's being ensnared and killed off. Preservation Staff was used earlier to save the uh, Demon Hunter, or at least send him back home. And yeah, it was still on cooldown by the time the Tinker fell, so that was a bad timing for life. But like I said, it was just a level 1 hero. A player's um, forces are under attack. Very quick to revive, and yeah, all you lose is basically a couple.
couple hundred gold and giving some experience over to your opponent. But this is not a good sign. And getting ensnared, like I said in game two, uh, life should be a lot more careful when he gets chain ensnared. Um, he could definitely benefit off a second staff reservation, I think, because yeah, the the cooldown might be a little too long for uh, for life's taste. So yeah, there is that. Of course, Watcher Ward was able to spot the uh, Blade Master position right there, even if he is invisible. And of course, he's fairy fired anyway, so he's I mean he's an open book right now. Level three Demon Hunter, level one, level one Tinker and Beastmaster. I think if there was anything to add to this kind of uh, nifty stuff here, it would be a hero counter, uh, just to track the hero levels and all that. But yeah, level 2 on the turn chieftain, level 2 on the blade master, and no third hero for the orc player. Uh, Scourge Bone Chimes gets picked, oh no, that's uh, Legion Haunt Doomhorn, so that is Unholy Aura. Turn chieftain basically has both of the moon speed auras there. He also has the attack speed from the endurance and life regen from the unholy. Scroll of Healing will be utilized to try and just top up his units right there. No more Shock Race in the turn, Chieftain, because he has been at Mana Burnt out. But Cyclones on a good number of units. That is pretty much most of the Cyclones available for life. This is kind of dangerous because he has he is just running out of control. Um, turn Chieftain is going to get the killing blow on that Beastmaster. Demon Hunter returns slightly late, and this might be a little problematic for the demon or he is going to get ensnared once again there is no ally hero to preserve the demon and this might just be a simple surround on the demon hunter here uh turn chief from taking a beating but he does have a good amount of strength so he can reach in that definitely a lot uh easier than most heroes of course he also has the unholy aura so he can reach in up with that as well demon hunter is quite fast but yeah, obviously the speed is just not enough. Beastmaster being raised back up. He is still level 1, so... It'll be quick, but... Uh, yeah, definitely not a good sign for, for life, because he did lo indeed lose that fight. As you can see here, resources. Gold looking pretty good for focus, but... Yeah, if he had if he had a couple more uh, peons on the, on the trees, he might go for an expand attempt, but... Yeah, not now. This is not a good sign either. Invuln will be popped by the Demon Hunter, but yeah, he's just going to be forced to use that TP scroll. I was going to say, um, actually, I actually completely forgot what I was going to say. Um, no, uh, that's what it was. Um, like I said, focus lacking in lumber. Meanwhile, his opponent is lacking in gold, and definitely that TP scroll buy was not going to help. So. Are under attack. It's only a matter of time before Focus starts going into low upkeep. As I say that, he's actually in fact in low upkeep. Uh, okay, Life is going to choose to engage in this fight as as his opponent is basically a little too busy with the turtles there. But uh oh, this is actually not going to be good for the turn chieftain unless uh, the rest of the orc units intervene. This is just going to be actually. Now that I think about it, like a lot of cyclones being wasted on the turn chieftain. If he's not able to kill this turn chieftain immediately, it's he should just back off and reach in the mana because he's tossed a lot of he, he's tossed a lot of cyclones for pretty much no gain. And this might be a good fight for uh, for focus, but he is going to back off a little bit. I believe this is low ground, low ground to high ground, so uh, they do have the miss procs there. Okay, so life got a little lucky with his uh, positioning, but yeah, definitely next time he should either seal the deal or just back off a little bit because that was a kind of kind of risky. A player's forces are under attack. 55 still versus 50, so life probably won't hit low upkeep anytime soon because he is kind of struggling in terms of gold right about now. A couple peons being brought over to act as uh, spirit link meat shields. And we are going to engage in combat. Uh, the druids didn't reach in that much mana, but it seems like life still has pretty much 
a good amount of confidence. Level 2 Shockwave didn't deal that much damage to those druids, surprisingly enough. Uh, he does not have enough mana to go for another one, and he just got mana burn, so it's pretty much not going to happen anytime soon. Flame Master does have the scroll of healing if he wants to pop it, but he's just being constantly cycloned. Uh, TP staff by the Demon is going to return to this battle, and he does have a health pot just in case he can focus down. He could give it over to the Tinkerer, but yeah, he's just too focused on trying to get that turn killed. If the turn gets killed, uh, I guess it might be a pretty good win, but a scroll of healing will be utilized right before the uh, Blade Master goes right back up to the to the skies, I guess. Um, Demon Hunter is being focused down. He does not have any way of invulning, and I don't think a Preserving Staff is on off of cooldown, so that is going to be Demon Hunter being taken down at level 3. Tinker gets ensnared, chain ensnared in fact. Turn also got turn taken down at level 3 as well, but uh, this is going to be another hero for life being killed. Demon Hunter gets Tavern revived, but is that going to be enough? He has no mana to do anything, and half health, this is pretty much going to be game. Focus actually going to get the the, the potential victory here. Another instead on the, on the Beastmaster and then another surround is going to happen. Turn Chieftain gets revived through the Tavern, but that is going to be GG for life. That is going to be a 2-1 victory for Focus. A reverse sweep, I guess you could say. And yeah, um, equally close game. Um, def probably not as close as game 2 was, but yeah, it was still, it was still pretty good, I think. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I will see you guys again next time, maybe, I'm like completely flooded with work and I need to catch up uh, with the lectures and all that, so we'll see, I'll see you guys again next time.